James lived in the big sheds with Gordon and Henry. The two big engines would talk of nothing but bootlaces. This greatly annoyed James, and he tried to talk about engines who got stuck in tunnels or on hills, but they wouldn't listen to him, just say, No use changing the subject, little James. Now a fast, strong engine like me is something to talk about. The only engine who can pull the express. When I'm not here, they need to take two engines. The express was heavier that day, Gordon. That's true, Gordon. You might break down if you tried to pull more than ten coaches like you did last time. Or the signalman might change the points because you're late. Bah! I don't need signalman. I know the path as if it were instinct. Every wise engine knows the signalmen are the ones who switches the points, not the engines. But Gordon was so proud and conceited that he had forgotten. The next morning, Gordon said, Wake up, little James. The express needs to be shunted. Go run along and collect it. With a snort, James rumbled away to collect the train. He brought the long train to the station. Soon Gordon backed down to the front of the express. On the guard's whistle, Gordon sprinted off into the distance. She got chatting, little James, he cackled as he left. James ignored the comment and went off to collect some vans for the next train. This isn't rash, I'm supposed to be on the main line. But it was too late. Gordon had to continue along the loop line until he met back up with the main line further on. Back at the big station, James had just arranged a train ready to go when he heard a mournful leash. There was Gordon trying to sneak back into the station. He looked very embarrassed. Hello, Gordon. Is it ten already? said James good-naturedly. Gordon couldn't bring himself to answer as the passengers stormed out of the train. He just let off steam feebly. Did you lose your way? No, it was lost for me. I switched onto the loop. I had to go all round and back again. Oh, I thought you knew the line by instinct. Gordon let off more steam while the passengers swarmed the platform. Finally, the fat director said, I promise you a new train if you all settle down. Gordon here can't pull it, but perhaps, yes, perhaps James will pull it for us. <laughs> oh, yes, sir, I'll try. So James was coupled to the train. Soon the guard's whistle blew. He snorted off into the distance. He went as fast as he could as the scenery around him became a blur. He passed Edward who cheered him on. When he reached the station at the end of the line, the passengers all thanked him and told him what a really useful engine he was. Well, John James, you gave Gordon a run for his money. You will no longer have to shunt. Do you want to pull the express for a while? I think Gordon needs some time to think. Yes, sir, it would be my honor. James pulled the express for the rest of the month. He would see Gordon shunting in the yards. They are good friends now and hardly ever make fun of each other. Oh, it's alright. I like doing some quiet work sometimes, he would say. But we all know. 
how he really feels, don't we?